the shape of you. For today's model, the very first step I've decided is to do the propeller. I'm going to be using this aluminum tin, or known as the Pepsi aluminum can, because I've also made another rubber band powered styrofoam plane before with this um, as a propeller. It came out really well, so I just want to give it a try again. So yeah, let me just cut off the top part and the back part of the can. So guys, this is what you basically get. And guys, you have to be really careful when you're cutting an aluminum can because sharp ends could lead you to great injuries. So yeah. These are just black spots which has stayed in because I had my aluminum can resting for quite some time because yeah, that's why insects just got in there and pooped there, you know. It's a bit gross, but I'll just work with it. Now, we're gonna make basic shape of the propeller. So just take a, a pen or a marker and just draw an oval, fairly large oval. Now, we're gonna cut that out. You wanna trace this on top of another aluminum can piece and make the second one. For this step, you want to take a popsicle stick and you just want to measure a point somewhere in the middle and you want to mark 4 centimeters away from the point you've just made and you want to do the same thing so you want to get 4 centimeters away from the point also to your right side just like that and you want to trim it out now we're gonna be making a hole in that very spot so guys I've made the hole onto the popsicle stick now you've realized that propellers are just not flat straight they're sort of like a twisted angle which is how the uh, generate wind and which is how the plane moves forward now if we just try to twist it with our own very hands it just won't stay the shape will just fade away so if you burn the middle part of the popsicle stick and then if you twist it then the shape will stay so I'll be right back after getting a candle so guys here I have the candle you just want to grab your popsicle stick now you want to place the fire on top of the middle part of the popsicle stick at the same time you want to twist as well keep it out of the fire for about a few seconds keep it back and you just want to keep the twist and if any flame just catches you just want to blow it off because you don't want to burn the can uh, the popsicle stick you want to flip it and do the same thing that's why you just want to move the popsicle stick away from the fire immediately so that your popsicle stick doesn't get burnt. So just keep it like that for about a few, few more seconds and you'll be done. Once you have your burnt popsicle stick cooled down, you're ready to get an aluminum wire. Now you want to get the aluminum wire through the popsicle stick, through the hole you made earlier. Now you will need a supplier. You just want to bend the top tip of the popsicle, uh, the aluminum wire and then bend it over the popsicle stick just like so for the next step you will need a bead now what you want to do you want to get your hot glue gun you want to glue it around the popsicle stick and the aluminum wire and then you want to put a chunk of glue over there 
and then just quickly add the bead through the aluminum wire so that it touches the popsicle stick and just let it dry. You want to put excess hot glue onto the model so that it can no way break open because it has to be really strong. It'll be under a lot of pressure when it's, you know, when the rubber band is twisted. So I just recommend, highly recommend that you use sufficient hot glue onto the propeller. Once that's dried, you want to get the two flaps you've made earlier. Now you just want to glue it onto the popsicle stick. Glue both of them. And just let that dry. You want to do the same thing with this step as well. Just get your hot glue gun and use sufficient glue around the popsicle stick so that it can be strong and it doesn't break free. Now what you want to do, you want to grab a pen cap. I've just taken this pen cap and I've drilled a hole fairly large hole. Now what you want to do, you want to pass the aluminum wire through the pen cap and then use your supplier to make a hook. Just like so. Guys, now I've taken a barbecue skewer which measures 25 centimeters and I've made a hook using the aluminum wire, uh, yeah, these aluminum wire, and it's a strong hook to hook the rubber bands. Now you want to take your propeller, propeller assembly. Now what you want to do, you want to glue this to the barbecue skewer, but we don't want this pointy part, so we're gonna trim it off. Now you just want to get your glue and just glue it on to the barbecue skewer. You want to let that dry. Guys, we're done with our fuselage. Just to give it a try, I've got a few layers of rubber bands. Of course, you will need rubber bands for a rubber band power project. You just want to hook it on to the propeller and hook it on to the hook at the end for both of them. Now, one very important thing, you see that the rubber, rubber band, it's under no pressure, it's like really loose. In this situation, your propeller won't generate that much of air. So which is why you wanna move the hook slightly more backwards, so that you can just see the rubber bands, it's just stretched. Now we're gonna try and twist the propeller, and let's see how it goes. It generates a lot of air. I think this fuselage is perfect. We're gonna work on our wings and the tail. Now you wanna take a styrofoam plate. If you don't have a styrofoam plate, you can take any other um, styrofoam or any other foams, you know, as long as it's light and good. You wanna take your cutter or an X-Acto knife. Now you just wanna cut it across the midway, but just to be more precise, you wanna mark it first just to see if it's in the middle. Adjust, and then you wanna cut. So the two wings are done. Guys, I've used a sandpaper to sand the edges of the wings for both of them. This just looks a bit neater. Now for the biplane, I need to have something for the stands. So I've chose to have little, little pieces of barbecue sticks 
These are um, three barbecue sticks. Each measures about three centimeters. Now you just want to stick it on to, uh, yeah, stick it on top of each other. To make the tail, I've taken this piece of um, styrofoam and I'm just gonna measure it. I'm gonna have it for, uh, let's say, 14 centimeters in length. And the width, it's gonna be, let's say, uh, four. Let's say 3.5. And let that dry. So guys, we're one step away from having our rubber band powered styrofoam biplane. That step is to glue all of these to the fuselage. So one step, one very important tip is that the more front you put the wing, the more lift your plane will get. The more back, of course, the more drag. So you just have to kind of adjust it. So you may have to open it several times, but I'm just gonna stick with one spot. So you just wanna get your glue gun and start gluing it. And again, from every other angle, you have to make sure it's straight. That is perpendicular to the tail and the, the wing. You just have to adjust that out. So guys, we're finally done with our rubber band powered styrofoam biplane. We're gonna go out and have some trials. We're gonna see how it flies. So guys, we're ready to have our plane test. You wanna keep winding until you feel the tightness in the propeller. Once you see that it's under a lot of pressure, you wanna stop winding because you don't want the rubber band to just tear off. We'll give her first flight. Just got a bend in the propeller, but it's aluminum, so it's fine. You can just easily fix that out. So the first flight, just to tell, it flew well. Of course, we can keep it more in the air if we try to. By saying that, I don't mean that I have to wind more. We'll give it our second flight. So guys, that was the end of the video. If you like this video, smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't to get the latest notifications. Now, I have two other videos. Both are regarding rubber band power planes. Those are in the description box below. You can go ahead and check those out. And you guys stay tuned. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.